welcome back to our Thursday Masterclass with Chef Jumi and Esther Milan. Now, sticking with the Mother's Day celebrations, we're moving on to a more savory dish. Esther will show us how to make the perfect poached egg served with baby marrow fritters. So, let's get into it. Okay, so we are making the baby marrow fritters. I'm going to grate a couple of baby marrows in a bowl. Okay. <laughs> and if it's you were to just top. break down the simple ingredients that we okay. need to whip this up, I mean, we can yeah. get it all detailed quite perfectly mm. on our website, but what do we have spread out? Okay, so we've got the baby marrows, we've got eggs, we've got some um, coconut flour, you can even use almond flour, or you can even use plain, you know, mm. cake flour, or whatever you have, and then salt, pepper, and we're going to serve it with some cottage cheese and the poached egg. Beautiful, I love this, and I also have the fact that you made mentioned that you've got some coconut flour, you can also add some almond flour, and you know, yes. you can mix it up the way you want, because if your mother is anything like my mother, <laughs> Ma, don't hit me, mate, don't hit me. <laughs> but my mother is always on some type of bunting diet, keto diet, so this is essentially perfect for someone like her. <laughs> well, your mom and I are in the same boat right now, because I'm currently <laughs> ketoing. I won't lie, I, I fell down the bag, band wagon sometimes, <laughs> but a girl picks herself up and she makes yeah. these fritters because they're keto friends because of the coconut mm. flour and the high protein with the eggs yeah. and baby marrow very yeah. green, very good for you so yeah. thank you Esther because now I was feeling <laughs> very guilty but now with this you option it's just like, mm, mm, you know <laughs> okay so as you ladies are just grating away there on that side I also have to say that even though we are mentioning all of these health fads and um, ideas and different lifestyles that you can kind of take on when it comes to your diet and culinary skills but you know what we're celebrating every type of woman this mother's day Small, big, uh, whether you love your junk food like myself, I love my pizza and I love my wings and my fries, or if you're trying to keep it healthy in the kitchen, you know, this one's for you. Definitely, Clessa. So what I'm going to be starting right now is we have those poached eggs that we're going to be making. And as we always say, whenever you're making poached eggs, it's very important to make sure you have some sort of acid in the liquid, whether it be lemon juice, whether it be vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar today. But any vinegar that's, anything that's tart and very acidic that helps to keep your um, poached eggs egg in, intact. In, intact. Um, I just added a bit of salt to the um, grated baby marrows. This helps to um, pull out some of the water. Mm. So then when I actually fry it off, it's not too watery, the bat, so it doesn't go all over the place. So yes, we're going to drain it in a bit. I just want to mix this through. And on my side, I've just grated some cheese here. Yeah, you know, you can never have too much cheese. <laughs> yes, we're going to add cheese to this as well, to the fritters. Okay. Yes. Vanessa, this trick that uh, Esther's showing us reminds me of that time when we were making the baby marrow, the, the eggplant rather, remember? <laughs> and we were making those steaks and showing you where if you add the salt to them and you let them sit, it actually Thank pulls you. out all of the liquid from this. So. I mean, let me remind our viewers there, I thought that this to totally elevated the eggplant game. Our aubergines is something that I don't necessarily like all the time, but it's just so good for you. It's so nutritious. So Domi has showed us fresh new techniques to be able to get the best out of your aubergine. And that was essentially just soaking it in salt. And then as you soak it in the salt, then all that water kind of drains out yes. and sits at the bottom. And this is the similar technique that you're now using for your baby marriage. Just trying to make sure that it kind of comes together quite well. Yes. Uh, the, you're draining it essentially. Yes, I'm basically like, I'm squeezing. You can see the liquid is coming out. Um, the longer you leave it to stand, the more liquid will come out. But uh, you can just, a minute here or there, you know. Should be fine. You don't want to be in the kitchen all day. Of course. <laughs> We're trying to celebrate with Mamzo. We can't yes. be whipping it up too long in the kitchen. Um, I also love the fact that it's almost instant instantaneous. You can see that water separating from the baby marrow just like that. It's just that yes. easy. Very easy. So I'm just going to squeeze everything out and then I'm going to add the mozzarella that you grated. Yes. I mean, that mozzarella just broke apart so simply, so easily. Mm. Um, I do love myself a good cheese. Everyone says that. In fact, I was with my aunt over the Easter holidays in Durban, <laughs> Uta, and she was like, hey, Palisa, me na no cheese. You're always putting cheese, cheese, cheese. I'm like, yes, girl. We're trying to elevate the flavors, <laughs> elevate the game in the kitchen. And for me, a simple way of doing that is adding cheese. And here we're incorporating the mozzarella within the baby marrow mm. fritters just to bind it as yes. another binding agent. It'll help to keep them together <laughs> when you cook them. Okay. So, Balsa, can you see the amount of water that's in there? So, this is what we say to people about um, 
draining them because I'm going to show you, a, uh, not a trick, I'm going to show you how they look when you don't drain them. So the whole idea now is we're trying to show you how to keep them together because you don't want your fritters. They're not like pancakes in this instance where you just let them go all over the plate. Yeah. You de with these, these ones, you want them to be intact and yes. to look, you know, well put together. You want them to be a fritter. I mean, you're going <laughs> to put an egg on top, so... It's got a hole. <laughs> On that note, I should probably get started with my eggs. I'm just a and little... And look at the... Sorry, look at the difference yes. in the quantity as well. Sure. This is with so. water, that is yeah. without water. Magical, <laughs> magical. Okay. Awesome stuff. I'm going to get started on my eggs because I figure these are quite simple, right? Are we doing them in the pan? Are we doing them in the um, oven? Yes. Um, we're going to do them in the pan, but you can also do them in the oven, um, whatever you prefer. Um, in the oven, you can actually do a lot at once. So you can just um, line a baking sheet with baking paper, and then you just do your little blotchies and then bake them. Where here, you can only do a couple at a time. Mm. Oh, okay. But I mean, it's still good either way. I mean, it just also depends on who you're trying to treat. If you're just treating mom in the pan, it goes. But if you're feeding the whole family, which mm. much looks like my household, mm. you've got to put them in the oven, honey. you got to put them yeah. in the oven. Okay, show us, do me the magic. Okay, as you can see, the water's bubbling away. The whole trick as well when it comes to making poached eggs. Yes, the water's boiling, but now we take it down to a, a simmer. So you, you want the water to be hot enough to cook the egg, but you also don't want it to bubble away, because if it does, what happens is your egg is also going to go all over the place. So you don't want the water to be too uh, rough, to be bubbling too much. And just a reminder, it's water infused mixed with um, uh, vinegar. Correct. Apple cider vinegar or a normal white vinegar, whatever you choose. So it is boiled water with that uh, vinegar already In inside. Correct. And then you're creating your little well. Correct. So all I'm doing now is with a spoon, I'm creating a bit of a whirlpool in the center and I drop the egg right in the center and as you can see this egg luckily just it came together mm. but most times if your egg is not fresh you see all these little trails it's going to be mm. all over the place your, your water will practically be white so now that it's coming together I'm going to turn my uh, my heat up just a little bit to start cooking the egg mm. and then this gives the, the egg enough time to cook and it's not too hot it's not bubbling all over the place it's just cooking the egg so we leave that be and then carry <laughs> on with the rest of okay <laughs> Hi, this what? truly is an extreme sport. <laughs> we're sweating here in the kitchen, guns are blazing, but it is fun and we're learning here. Essentially that whirlpool that we were creating just makes sure that the water hugs that egg mm -hmm. so that the yeah. egg doesn't go all over the place. You know, we're creating mm. that friction and that energy to kind of keep that egg white. Let me hold you, <laughs> you know, hugging it all together. And on your side, sticking to the egg theme, you've already added your eggs. Yes, to I've added eggs just to bind it as well. A little bit of salt and pepper, always seasoning. Um, um, and the mozzarella that you grated for me. And now I'm going to add some of the, um, the coconut flour. And so I'm not going to put everything in at once because coconut flour really absorbs a lot of liquid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's time to put our mixture in the pan. I can see you're oiling it quite well. Yes, adding a bit of oil. You can also use a non-stick pan. Um, but this one will work perfectly as well. Just and move I it around. And I have it quite hot, ready for action. Yes, you need to... Let the fritters sit so you can turn them around mm -hmm. easily. Beautiful. Here's some more cheese. I know you asked for more cheese. So as soon as you put that down there, I mean, you're just looking for a round enough flavor. Yes, it doesn't have to be... Um, shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you are just... It's home cooking. It's not mm -hmm. supposed to be fancy. Domi, congratulations, yes, a perfect poached egg. <laughs> it is, and I just did the touch test now, and it's nice and soft in the center. Yeah. I would call this a medium egg, closer to soft, um, so which is a perfectly poached egg. Just like I like it. Just like you like it. And Balasa, can, can I just show the difference of how this looks? I've put everything yeah. that Esther put in, but you can see that it's still a lot more runnier compared to how that mm. uh, mixture is. So. The, it makes a difference. Draining it makes a huge difference. But uh, Esther, you've got some that you've made in the oven because you were telling us yes. how you can make some on the stove and some in the you oven. Can. Um, let me just take this out. Just like that. This looks good. I mean, charge <laughs> yeah. You can put the griddle on at the end just to get it a nice color. These look really, really good, and that green is popping. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine that as soon as, Dumi, as you're plating up there, sure. um, I can just imagine as soon as you cut into that egg, the yellow with the green, oh, just oh, gonna look, it's going to look perfect. beautiful. Yeah. You can even add some fresh herbs, and um, we're going to add some cottage cheese as well. Okay, where would you like me to place <laughs> our, <laughs> our egg? Just okay, maybe let's first put a bit of cottage cheese on. 
okay. the bottom. So you can do that. You can just smear it on. Okay. Make it look pretty. <laughs> and then you can put the egg on top. Then we can put our egg. And then I guess Perfect. before we go too far, we should do the test, right? To make sure if it's cooked to perfection. Let's first uh, season it a bit. Okay. You know? <laughs> Salt and pepper. Salt and There we go. Pepper. Another Perfect. recipe for mom that came together in less than 10 <laughs> minutes, which we are so here for. Do me as you're cutting into that egg. Voila. It was medium. I was right. It's no. medium. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. But you've got that beautiful yolk. Well done. In